Hola chicos, en este video vamos a hablar de vocabulario 2, capítulo 4. Vocab 2, chapter 4, que comemos y donde. We're working towards the learning target of being able to know and use our vocab towards a real life situation such as ordering in a restaurant or purchasing food, okay? So, um, vocab 2 is themed around in el café. So yeah, we're going to look at café type vocab. So, when you travel, you often meet new people, make friends, and so, of course, one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to go out and grab a bite to eat with them. So, you need to be able to order for yourself. So, here we have on the left, we'll start on the left side, los refrescos. Um, just a parenthesis, this is available to you in a studio. Don't forget if you click on the buttons, they will actually read them out to you. So, if you want to work on your pronunciation, that's an option, okay? Los refrescos can be refreshments, or it can be beverages, or in some countries, refresco actually means soda, okay? So, uh, wherever you're visiting, you'll just want to make sure that you know what the local uh, or the regional uh, vocab is for that place. Here we have unos batidos de jugos tropicales. Well, we know jugo is juice from vocab one, and tropical is obviously a cognate. Well... So we're doing something with tropical juice. Batido comes from the verb batir, which means to mix or to blend. So this is a smoothie, okay? Um, usually it's going to be just the juice, the ice, and probably sugar, or some other sweetener. Um, if you have bananas, it might be uh, milk, bananas, and sugar, which is delicious if you've never tried that. <laughs> All right. Um, then we have agua mineral con gas. So we know that in Spokane, we actually have pretty good tap water. Um, if you don't believe me, go to the south <laughs> and try the tap water in the south or the Midwest, okay? Spokane has an aquifer, which makes our water actually pretty clean tasting. Um, so a lot of us buy bottled water, but we really don't need it. However, in other countries, there's places where you can't drink the tap water. It will make you sick or even you don't even want the ice cubes. So um, you ha that's super important for your health that you know how to get drinkable water for yourself. So <clears throat> most places will call it agua mineral, mineral water, and that just means bottled water, okay? It might be mineral water or not. Um, but what matters is that it's bottled and it's sealed, okay? They should, if you order it in a restaurant, they should open it in front of you, okay? Um, it can be con gas with bubbles with carbonation or sin gas without carbonation, without bubbles. If you've never had uh, carbonated water or tonic water, it's gross. <laughs> so some people like it. Uh, some people prefer it. In Europe, they drink it a lot. In South uh, and Latin America, they drink it a lot. I don't care for it. So if you're not used to it, you probably will not like it. And I don't feel like when I'm thirsty, I don't feel like it quenches my thirst quite like regular water would. So that's just a little tip when you're ordering a beverage. So now we can look at meriendas, tapas o antojitos. They all three mean the same thing. They're like snacks or appetizers. So we have los camarones, which obviously by the picture, shrimp. Las albondigas, there's a tilde, so respect the tilde. Las aceitunas, olives. Las empanadas. So every country uh, has their own em traditional empanada. In some countries, they're more... Uh, common than in other countries like in Chile they eat a lot of empanadas in Uruguay and Argentina they also eat a lot of empanadas um, but a, a common misconception is that empanadas are a sweet food yes sweet empanadas exist but so does dessert pizza but that doesn't make pizza a sweet food does that make sense so um, yes you can find uh, sweet empanadas, and there are really traditional sweet empanadas. It's just like a turnover, um, like, you know, those little hostess cherry pie things. It's like that same idea, but it's not the same thing. So um, when you talk about empanadas generally, it is a salty food, okay? Then we have los tostones. Los tostones are fried plantains. Um, plantains are really similar to bananas. I'm not sure within the vegetable kingdom where the lines are drawn. But basically, they're the big green ones that you can find at the grocery store. Um, you chop them and you fry them, and they are pretty tasty. 
Uh, then we have los pinchitos. So those are going to be skewers, or we would call them shish kebabs. So um, just cubed meat, some veggies, maybe some peppers, and onions. And then that's roasted on a grill. So those bean cheetos. That's uh, another one I think is regionalized. So wherever, you'll at, wherever you are at, you'll just have to find out what they call it there. So some words that are a little more standardized. We have el mesero. If you can't tell from the picture, el mesero is the waiter. So this guy is waiting on them. Una mesa ocupada. We know mesa's table and ocupada, cognate ninjas, is occupied. So this is um, an occupied table. Una mesa libre is a free table. So um, when you come in, you'll need to be able to ask, ¿Hay una mesa libre? Is there a free table? We have el menú. Oh, I've heard more commonly la carta. And we'll talk about that in class. Okay. Um, down below as the captions to this chapter are we've got some verbs van al café ve una mesa libre abre el menú lee el menú so there's some vocab from this chapter we'll talk about in class all right so then as far as actually ordering the waiter's going to come around and say um que desean tomar this is one of our infinitive expressions what do you wish what do you want what do you desire to drink so she's going to order un batido de papaya and he's going to order una cola and una empanada de carne. Tengo hambre. So he's hungry, so he's ordering food with his beverage. Okay? Here, um, and I'll let you do it, you're going to read um, what they call snacks in different places. Okay? And then el mesero or camarero if you're in Spain. Down here, after you've ordered your food and you've eaten, you need to ask for la cuenta. So I think of this as like the account, right? So we have la cuenta here. Si, sí, señorita, enseguida, immediately. Está incluido el servicio. Incluido is a cognate, looks like included. So she's asking, is the service included? Well, we wouldn't say it that way. So remembering that it's not about words, it's about ideas. So when she's talking about the service, she's talking about his service. So in, it, in the U.S., we call that a tip. So she's saying, is the tip included? This is a really important question. In other parts of the world, you are charged your tip, or what we call gratuity, up front. So it's really important that you don't tip on top of that, unless you want to, okay? But it's really important that you don't tip because you think it wasn't already included. So you have to find out, ¿está incluido o no? Okay? So that's vocab two. We'll talk about what the bill looks like in, uh, in class. And just remember those pronunciation rules we've been talking about. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? Ciao.